Hi everybody, Zach Reacts, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction of Black Clover. Today moving on to episode 39, and last time we had a spy in our midst. We don't know who officially it is yet, but we do know that it is one of the Wizard Knight captains that is in attendance. Uh, the Wizard King Julius called everyone together. He also called Asta there. He had Asta basically use his sword to nullify the magic enchantment um, for these prisoners that they have, the Eye of Midnight Sun, to start to get some truth revealed to them finally uh, as to who they are, what their plans are, etc etc um, and we do know guys that in the room in the in that little area one of them is the spy that's what was told to us at the end of last episode I have my suspicions if you saw my last reaction guys you know who I'm kind of suspecting uh, I'm kind of thinking it's that Mark guy uh, the, the kind of like the right hand man assistant to Julius but I also feel because I also feel guys I'm very torn because there is such like a common trope to have it be you know the guy behind the guy you know type of thing where it's like you know you have this leader front and center the evil person doing these horrible deeds is the guy that he trusts the most it's this assistant that is a very common trope uh, in many stories so I want to say it's him but i'm also thinking of that saying like it's too that's too easy it can't be him and i don't know and then at the same time i'm also starting to feel like the show is pushing uh this vengeance captain toward you saying hey suspect him suspect him we don't know what he's been doing this whole time since the capital invasion you know he needs to answer for his you know whereabouts and all that kind of stuff too so i have no idea guys if i'm have any inkling of I'm right or wrong with this Mark guy being the spy or not. We'll find out hopefully today. Um, but thank you nonetheless, guys, for joining me on this ride of Black Clover. Please like this video if you haven't yet, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet for more reactions coming soon. We also have a Patreon where you can help support this channel, so feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below. Thank you to those who have already done so, and here we go with episode 39. Here we go. <laughs> The Eye of the Midnight Sun has as its leader a man named Lit, a mage with the coveted four-leaf clover grimoire. Six years ago, he formed a terror group bent on opposing the Clover Kingdom. It now counts some 50 mages as its members. Okay. Beneath Lit are the three ranking members known as the Third Eye, Raya, Veto, and Fana. Their power far outstrips the others. The organization's members harbor a deep hatred of the Clover Kingdom which drives their acts of terrorism against our country. Their ultimate goal is to establish a sovereign state. That all sound correct so far? Yes. yes. Now then, the juiciest tidbit is probably this. The traitor who cooperated with the Eye of the Midnight Sun is one of you, our Magic Knight captains. Huh? <laughs> one of us? No, that can't be true. <laughs> I knew it. But which captain? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really curious. You're the reason Captain Foygolion got hurt. Don't show that. But why? Why would one of the captains turn traitor? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm... Again, if you saw my last video reaction... There's some clues that I don't know for sure if it's that assistant. Maybe, like, you know, he's the one that put the memory spell for the characters to then speak the truth and all that. Could have he had done some secret little trickle of magic in there to not have it be the full truth or not have it be, you know, something like that to then kind of put the blame off of him. I'm still very suspicious about him, but it could very well be one of those captains. We don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oblivious to it all, guys. All I do know is that this is our last time seeing this opening. It's so sad. It is so good. I want to rock out every time I hear it, man. It's so good. I'm so torn, guys. This one and opening two, I love, love, love so much. I still cannot decide which one I like more. I'm, I'm so torn, but I definitely like them more than opening one. Sorry for those of you that like opening one the best. It is in third place in my ranking right now. But tied for first is opening two and three. So good. Love it. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Now, will you tell us? Who among those gathered here is the traitorous captain who collaborated with the Eye of the Midnight Sun? Can't be Charlotte. 
Go on, tell us their name. The traitor is the purple orcas captain. Galder poison. Grimace guy. Ridiculous! What are you trying to say? We don't know anything about him. He's just some guilty of attacking the royal capital itself. You would have to be crazy to believe a word out of their mouths. I have heard a few distasteful rumors regarding you. Is that all, Charlotte? I've heard a great deal more than a few. No way! Are you guys serious? Sure are. There are rumors all over the damn place. It's crazy. And now it seems they weren't guess I was wrong. after all. <laughs> I, guess I, I'm, I keep thinking, like, is this it? Is this sneaky, the truth? But I never imagined even you would stoop to this level. This isn't funny! There's obviously been a mistake! Yes! Those two are trying to set me up, and you're all falling for it! Anything said under the spell's compulsion is true, without a doubt. There you have but it. He casted Hammy. the spell. I'm still Hammy? very, very hey, suspicious. Now, calm down. I, 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 I don't know, guys. Am I looking into this too far? Am I like you? totally you off base here? A peek I don't that know. Head of yours. If you've been a good ham, you'll have nothing to worry about. Apart from the stupid nickname, I agree completely. If you're truly innocent, you should jump at the chance to prove it. Well, I don't know. Hey, what's the matter there, Hammy? You get shy all of a sudden. Such a betrayal is unforgivable. It's also not it a should capital. be a capital offense. So you really are attack. a traitor then? You jerk! You betrayed your fellow captain! Mm. No! This is some kind of trap! I'll find a way to clear my name. But for now, I'll have to retreat. Transparency creation magic. Activating the invisible maze. Oh. He's gone. Ha, he's making a run for it. Things are getting serious now. Not good. He's invisible. And as long as he is, all magic will pass right through him. Invisible troops. This is not helping his for a base here. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm more and more, hey, on, every Jordan. second that passes, guys, I am not thinking of that assistant anymore. I'm thinking, okay, this is got the guy. Can't, 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 can't. I don't this suppose guy. anyone knows He's how to bad chase somebody you can't see. Why set up this whole you thing to attack your friends if you're trying don't to worry, clear your name? This. So. Did they think I would just stand there and let them capture me? With my magic, I'm untouchable. This is the power that made me a magic knight captain in the first place. Then there's my incomparable business acumen, which made me an influential tycoon. Between the two, I've become a great mage rich in both money and Ah, he's all about the money. Yeah, he's evil. <laughs> <laughs> my he story's sinister laugh. to end here. All right, well, Thanks to my call me wrong, guys. Call me wrong. Genius, I'm unstoppable. It's him. Oh, here he comes. Gotcha! What? Where did you come from? That's impossible. Well, old Hammy's transparency magic may be able to hide him, but hiding his key is another story. And since there you an go. anti-magic sword isn't, you know, magic, it can hit him just fine. <sighs> well, I guess we know what his natural enemy is now. A magicless boy who knows how to read key. <laughs> can't win! I'm a magic knight captain! You are some magicless commoner! <laughs> yes, oh. that's excellent. The writhing on the floor like a desperate fish look suits you quite well. No way. <laughs> You're a magic knight captain! You're supposed to be better than this! Now come back and face me! <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> if you could just stay still a moment, please. <laughs> Picture magic, spring of restriction. Okay, <laughs> well, that Mr. worked. Boyzot, you make a wonderful painting, and I know just what to call it, too. Yes, the drowning captain. Uh, what you think? No way. What kind of magic is that? 
Honestly, Rill, you and your half-baked nonsense. Yeah, well, somebody had to do something, or else you'd destroy this entire building. His magic makes all spells pass through him, but not physical objects. Therefore, we need only attack with non-magical items. If this building must fall to bring him down, commoners can easily rebuild it. I missed the chance to fight a fellow captain in real combat. It would have been fun, too, slicing up that ham into tiny little pieces. Magic Knight captains can't stand around twiddling their thumbs while there's a traitor waiting to be caught. At least gotta strike a pose or something. Seriously, are you still snoozing? <laughs> Although you did manage to keep up with us, so I guess you're pretty sharp for being asleep. Why is the army paying so much attention to Dorothy? Is she the type of woman he likes? <laughs> Enough. Let's leave it there for now. Consider this. Someone else may be controlling him with magic. Well, I'm glad the rest of you were here to help Rangel. Think of that. Traitor. That's a possibility. I'm afraid I couldn't have gone so easy on him. These people are crazy! How'd you know where Captain Poisson was? And how'd you break his transparency spell? Um, well, I just... <laughs> Never mind, I'm real and I'm 19. Who are you? I'm Asta and I'm 15. I can't believe you're only 19 years old and you're a captain. <laughs> ah, so you're younger than me then. I think we should be friends. What do you say? Friends with a captain? Seriously? Okay, great. Yay! Now, Gelder, have the answers you've given us up to this point all been truthful? They have. You know, I have to hand it to you, Hammy. That's quite an impressive list. Let's see here. Beating up your own squad members, misappropriating magic tools, and smuggling dangerous magic drugs. You were way dirty before the whole traitor thing. You didn't mention his worst crime, abducting a guardian mage. That's direct cooperation with the Eye of the Midnight Sun. At least now we know how they were able to invade the royal capital. The okay. fool was so blinded by the offer of rare magic tools, he made a deal with terrorists. So he's greedy and immoral. Does that really surprise anybody? The Eye of the Midnight Sun likely killed the abducted Guardian Mage shortly after the attack on the capital. His actions are both unprecedented and unforgivable. He was a magic knight, charged with protecting our people, yet he sold them out instead. If word of this got out, the populace might panic, so we won't be making this matter public. I want you to take a good look at your squads. Make sure none of them have ties to the enemy. This cannot happen again. Yes, yes sir. sir. Get them all in line. Let's go. Well. I put on quite the performance. Nobody can see through my copy transformation magic. Uh oh. So, which person in the room was actually me? That ought to keep them from being suspicious for a while at least. Oh my god. I'm now, like, totally lost. <laughs> I'm sorry for keeping you two. I won't detain you for long. It's a terrible feeling to be betrayed by somebody who once fought alongside you. I sprinted at full speed to get where I am, but as a result, I may have made mistakes along the way. Did you keep us behind to tell us that? Because if so, Julius, I gotta <laughs> so say happy you picked the wrong there. guys. There was one more piece of information the Midnight Sun members revealed during their questioning. Asta, remember the hideout they took you to after you were captured? And the mysterious stone tablet that was hidden there? They call the gems embedded in that tablet magic stones. They believe that gathering them will allow them to be reborn into their true forms with close ties to the mana, thereby granting them immense power. Apparently that was the reason they targeted Fuegolion, because of the magic stone he wore. Okay. They think they're gonna be reborn? You sure they haven't been reading too many of those fantasy novels? We can't know for sure whether it's true, but their belief is very real, and that's enough to convince me that we must keep them from getting the stones at all costs. Uh -huh. Four stones remain to be gathered, and from what our captive said, it seems they know the location of one of them. Hmm, where's that? The Underwater Black Temple, one of the strong oh, no. magic regions. That makes sense. Oh yeah, of course! What are those again? If you're not actually going to use this thing, I'll go ahead and crush it for you. <laughs> Strong magic regions. As the name suggests, they're areas of great magic power. 
Various magic phenomena in these places make them difficult to access. One such region, an especially hazardous one, is known as the Underwater Temple. You can think of the dungeon you and your colleagues conquered before as the beginner's version of this place. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. You mean it's even more dangerous? So, we have to get there before this Eye of the Midnight Sun does and make off with this magic stone thingy. Is that the general idea? That's right, and I believe the best people for this mission will be found in the Black Bulls, who are unique among the Magic Knights because of the number of its members unfettered by family or social standing. We can't forget, there may still be traitors among the Magic Knights. So, will you do it? You're the Wizard King, aren't you? If you want something done, just tell us to do it. And you're right, if you're worried about connections, I don't exactly have a whole lot holding me back. He washed up from some other country. Lives alone on the coast. He's dangerous. Just look at those eyes. I wish he'd just go back where he belongs. I did mention this, guys, in one of my comments of a previous reaction video, but I am very curious to know if we are going to some point no way. see where Yami some came from or, like, the war? people he left behind are going to, like, come into the picture and our magic to get, rid get of involved him. in some way. And that'll be a whole thing he'll have to kind of like work what out in his own mind and his own the scary self. Guy. That's just freaky. I don't know. Yeah, I got a grimoire just like them, but that didn't make me any less of a foreigner in their eyes. In exchange for nothing holding me down, I'd be alone all my life. And him being a foreigner so and thought. being kind of like the outcast wow! of everybody else around magic? him, he probably what the totally <laughs> understands and sympathizes awesome. with Asta. I've never seen Asta. it before. Please, you've got to let me get a closer look. Yeah, no. Who are you, mister? I, uh, well, uh, I'm no one to be suspicious of, I assure you. I'm just a magic knight captain out walking in disguise. What's a magic knight captain? Huh? Why don't you come with me and I'll show you? I think you have real potential. I'll pass. Ah, come on, it'll be fun. I'll pass. I'll treat you to dinner. I'm in. <laughs> okay, can't blame a guy for... Wait, you'll come? Uh, yeah. If you're buying dinner, I'll definitely come. You know, you're so a really funny guy. So wherever he comes guy. from also <laughs> and that doesn't have that whole system of magic knights since. and magic captains and a wizard king and all that kind of stuff. So... I don't know. Maybe that'll be something they visit at some I'll point. I'll use all the power I've got to prove that you're not wrong about this. To show you that you haven't made any mistakes. <laughs> Yami saluting. Thank you, Yami. I'm counting on you. Oh, and Asta. Yes, sir? I'm starting to think it may have been fate you're joining Yami's squad. You see, strong magic regions have powerful mana force fields that prevent outsiders from entering. I doubt anyone would be able to get in without your anti-magic. And your experience battling with the Eye of the Midnight Sun will serve you well, I'm sure. I'm counting on you, too. Yes, sir! He's so proud. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never seen someone injure themselves giving a salute. <laughs> He's a funny one. I can see why you picked him for your crew. You're as stiff as a board in there. Guess even the comic relief gets nervous sometimes. I'm more than just a comic relief! The thing is, I've never really had somebody I look up to like the Wizard King actually expect anything from me like this before. He can't use magic and he thinks he'll get into a night squad? Right, like that's gonna happen. Actually, I don't think anybody's expected anything from me before. Huh. <laughs> I let you into my squad because I thought you could hack it. So keep working hard, kid. Yes, he's, sir! He's doing it the same. He's also doing oh, it. Oh, yeah! 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 Woo We're going to the beach! That's a real man's destination right there! Nothing's manlier than the beach! Am I right? Yeah, this is awesome! I've never even seen the ocean before! Me neither, little Rasta! Beach! 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 Beach. There's beach. nothing better than relaxing beach. in the sun on a hot day with a nice cold drink. Anyone, if we're going to go to the beach, does that mean I have to wear one? I don't right know if I can handle something like that. Maybe I should just stay here. Anyone. So many kinds of seafood just waiting to be grilled up by the shore. The culinary possibilities are endless. Now, now, ladies, let me go around. Captain? Huh? 
What kind of souvenir do you think I should get, Marie? Hey, sharks are supposed to be super strong, right? I hope the sharks eat you both. A swimsuit? Seriously? I just can't. I can lend you one if you need it. <laughs> beach! <laughs> beach! 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 Sharks! Uh -huh. We're going to the beach to work, not to play, you got it? Yes, sir. The underwater temple, huh? I wonder if it's as cool as it sounds. Who's this? Somebody they're gonna meet, probably, I'm assuming. Man, it looks like the whole crew is going, so that's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited because I've commented before, guys, how I love that Asta, you know, slowly it's building. It's building upon each arc we have. You know, he kind of is joining in with more and more of the members and he's kind of like befriending more and more of them. They're all kind of like accepting him in officially into the Black Bulls and like and now it looks like we're going to get everybody all the members of the Black Bulls at least everyone that we've met um, just kind of coming together and we're going to have a beach episode apparently it looks like too so if you have an anime you got to at some point have a beach episode right so there you go that'll be next time I'm assuming uh, and Gosh, man, I don't know what to make as well of this whole spy business. So that was Raya. I, I didn't catch who he was. I have to go back and look, guys. I, I, I don't know if they showed who he was impersonating. If he did, I missed it. Um, but we know that he was somebody. We know that he kind of played, played the role and kind of like said what they wanted to hear. And so now it's like, Everyone is back up for suspicion. I have no idea what to say, what to make of this at all. Um, it did seem like that purple guy was villainous in his actions. Clover Clips. Now, let's see Clover. I'll talk more about it in a second. Game, Game tournament. tournament. Let's go. Whoa, how fun is this? You can play a game like this with your magic? You're even cooler than I thought, Mushroom Head! This is called Memory Game Magic. It lets you stage battles using characters created from your memory. And seriously, the name is Mark. Come on! The captain was crazy tough when he was young! Hey, that's from back around the time we met. How nostalgic! You're no match for me then or now, kid. Not yet, I'm not done! Go right, counterattack! <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Now left! No. Why you? How about we put the controllers down and have a real battle? I don't want a game over! What should I do? If we're going to the beach, I'll need a swimsuit. I have to buy a new one. I wonder what kind Asta likes. Black Clover, page 40, a black beach story. Wait, what am I saying? I don't care what Dorksta thinks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, definitely beach episode next time. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um... I, I really was into this episode, guys. I loved it. I, I'm i still, like, I don't know what I was kind of saying before with the black, uh, I'm sorry, the, the purple character. He um, did some villainous things. He was kind of saying, like, how he was hurting his own members and all that kind of stuff. He was kind of selling some stuff, earning money and all, and he, they just kind of, like, unwillingly sold something to the terrorist, uh, you know, group. And so I feel like he maybe didn't realize he was kind of like an unwilling uh, spark to have the whole invasion happen so he is guilty for that but like he's not like a flat out like I, but I, I am betraying the capital on purpose I'm choosing to do this he was just kind of trying to make a buck I guess and and that's what I took away I you know correct me if I'm wrong guys in the comments but that's kind of what I gathered from this and that so he still is bad but it just kind of was he was the one that kind of how they explained how the magic uh, I'm sorry how the I, the Midnight Sun, got into the capital and all that. How that all started was just based off of him and his neg negligence, basically. Um, but is there another person, like, still feeding information? Like, who was Raya kind of like, you know, there's there's a story there, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm losing track of it all in my head right now. I got to go back and check it out again a little bit. Uh, but there is a story there. We're going to learn more in the future, I'm sure. I also, guys, I just want to say really quick, I loved how... They showed the little introduction of Yami and Julius. Uh, Yami, of course, has come such a long way to the captain he is now and doing that whole salute. And you saw that the reaction 
uh, during that salute from Julius and how he's kind of like thinking of that moment as well. Um, but I do feel like, guys, that there's going to be a whole bunch more in between now and then that we're still going to get to see at some point of a flashback. And I'm so excited because it's going to really showcase Yami's growth as a character. And I can't wait. I'm here for it. So uh, thank you guys again for watching and joining me on this ride. It means a lot. Please drop a comment down below if you haven't yet. And let me know what you thought of this reaction and this episode. I always love to chat with you guys about it. And until then, we'll be back every Wednesday with more episodes reactions of Black Clover uh, at 1 o'clock Eastern Time is my goal to release them. So be on the lookout, guys. You can also check out Fairy Tale and Eden Zero episode reactions as well on the channel and more on the way. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.